Welcome to the course on International Banking and Insurance for the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, this is Professor Teferro from Fort St. Lucie, Florida, and I will be your guide to the maze of uh, economic um, little uh, links and principles and ideas and um, strategies that may or may not be involved with the Belt and Road and its partners. Um, the introduction for tonight is uh, a little background about international banking and insurance. Uh, in China, you have four major banks, the Bank of China, um, you have um, CCB, China Construction Bank, ABC, Agricultural Bank of China, and ICBC, uh, the four major banks for China. Um, these banks have advantages and disadvantages. Um, they are all under uh, government control in Beijing. Um, they get things done quickly because they're under government control. The government gets things done quickly in China as opposed to other countries, which we won't mention. Um, but uh, in any event, the uh, four banks in China do have a weakness that is a problem. And uh, that weakness is that they don't have a lot of experience in the international banking community. Um, they came on the scene in 1949, and so that gives them only about 70 years experience. Other banks in uh, China uh, have far more experience than uh, these four major banks. For example, the Hong Kong Savings Bank of China uh, has been in business for over 200 years. Um, while it was uh, colonizing half the world, uh, England uh, utilized the Hong Kong Savings Bank of China for many of their loans and uh, many of their ventures. Um, the Hong Kong Savings Bank of China is not a Chinese bank. It's not a Hong Kong bank. It's a bank that belongs to the United Kingdom. And uh, this bank has 300, over 300 branches in China. Very powerful uh, economic inroads in China. It's the only country that has um, major banking interest in China, other than China itself. So um, Hong Kong Savings Bank of China will be a major player in the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, the Bank of Singapore will also be a major player, but not as big as the Hong Kong Savings Bank of China. In the area of insurance, um, generally speaking, uh, you have uh, China Life, and uh, you also have um, one other Chinese uh, insurance company. Um, these, these companies also are in the same position as the Chinese banks. They have very little, if any, experience outside of China. All their experience in the last 70 years has been inside of China. So they're not capable of really giving quality um, services uh, for banking and insurance needs outside of China. For that, you will need an international insurance company. And once again, the United Kingdom is going to provide <clears throat> a company that has over 200 years experience, and that is Prudential. Uh, the Prudential Life Insurance Company will be getting a nice large share of the Belt and Road insurance uh, pie. Um, AXA Insurance uh, from France uh, will also be getting a major portion of the trade because they have a number of years of experience in the international market as well. So there you have the uh, international players for the bankers and the international players for insurance before we begin diving deeper into international banking and insurance. Um, be sure to uh, come to lesson two where we will examine uh, in more detail how these banks and insurance companies will affect business on the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, this is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie signing off. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.